So pleasant, pleasant morning to you all. Welcome back to the channel now. This morning, me out here very early. I don't know me have working in the afternoon, so I go jump into the water. I go see if I can find a one fish or two. Yeah, man. Um, <coughs> my main objective this morning is to find a snook. So I go go on a spot. Go see if I can find one snook. All right. The water nice and calm. Early in the morning, the sun no rise yet or anything like that. So. I suit up already, as you can see. I'm up on the beach. So I'm just going to grab my gears them right now. And I'm going to head over to the spot. Alright, so stay tuned guys. So we in the water right now, searching this spot. Um, this spot is one of the spots that um, we normally would see the snooks. Here I saw two catfish. That's what we call them here, catfish. It wasn't that big, but I was still was checking for the snook. And I decided on um, taking one of these catfish. So I took one right here. seen any snook so I move over to deeper waters right here I took a dive I saw some surge and fish I was just taking a look at them the beautiful color of the reef and all of that right here I took another dive some more surge and fish nice and calm beautiful day on the reef today a lot of movements and all of that just hoping to see that nice fish that one big fish that I want to catch you know yeah man This is another random dive, still searching the reef. Now right here, um, as you can see on my spear, I got a nice size mud jack. A school of them was just swimming past, so I had to just take a dive and took a quick shot. Alright, so my shaft was stuck down there, so I had to go down to retrieve the fish as well as release my shaft. Alright. So that's it. That's a mud jack right there. All right. Now here I am. Uh, 
making my way over to my floater to put my fish on my stringer this floater I also use it as a, a marker so other boats or other traffic on the water can actually see that um, a diver is somewhere is somewhere close to that marker as you can see I also use this marker to tie my gun while I went down to retrieve my fish now this part is very interesting I saw a school of mackerel swimming below me um, my track card was actually um, tied up around me a little bit but I still went down to try and um, take a shot because um, they were swimming by and I didn't want to let them swim by and I didn't get a shot I took a shot right here the track card um, was tied up so um, the spear dragged I missed the fish and my shooting line broke I had to retie my shooting line out there temporarily and um, use that throughout the dive. Wasn't able um, to, to use the line release on the, on the gun for this one. I had to hold the track card in my hand because the shooting line got way, way shorter. So it was much um, more work to use the gun this way. But um, I still found a way to make it work. Right here I took a dive but as soon as I hit the reef I heard a boat coming from distance. So I started making my way back to the top, to the surface. If you notice how far the boat was but um, you can hear it from a distance when you're underwater once I hear a boat I always try making my way to the top and that's my marker right there now the, you see how wide the boat is from the marker yeah man so that's the purpose of a marker out there so I recommend every diver dive with a marker all right Now right here I saw a pot snapper camouflage beside a rock hiding me so I went down to take a shot. I went down on a, on a bad angle so right here you'll see I take the shot and the fish run off. I actually shoot the fish but the spear went on the reef, bounced back and the fish got a chance to run off. Fortunately, I saw where it went. I got another shot at it and I actually got this fish. A pot snapper, that's what we call this fish here. Now right here, I saw a lot of sprats. If you notice, the water is kind of blurry at point because um, the river water runs out right here so all that dark area you're looking at right there those are all sprats there are some jacks swimming around with them as well so i decided on taking a dive to see if there was any bigger predators around trying to feed off this this school of sprat so i took the dive and way off in the distance i saw a barracuda um, I started making my way closer to see if I could get a shot. I should have taken that shot. I was um, waiting to see if it would come back around so I could get a better shot at it. It wasn't coming around so I took one of the fish from my stringer um, with the intention of um, lowering him in so I could get a shot at it.
I tried luring the barracuda in a couple of times. It wasn't taking the risk, it wasn't coming any closer. Um, I took a couple of dives trying to see if I could find different ways of getting him to come closer, but it wouldn't come closer. It was way off in the distance. So I decided on just leaving it alone and I'm heading. the water and thing you know, I don't know. Find two little fish. Show them we catch right now. Find a nice mud jack. Find a little pot snapper. This is the first fish we be killer this morning. And catfish. This is a sea drummer. And we have four lionfish over here so one of them just juke me a while ago. Yeah, buck up on Turks this morning don't know see where Turks kill ya a nice red belly a red belly I weigh about about 4 pounds you know mm. <laughs> one two <laughs> yeah fine one I mud jack them too nice catch a red belly is a lovely red belly Alright people, so welcome to the kitchen right now. I'm going to do some brown stew fish today. Yeah, with some rice and peas today, a Sunday and things. So, I'm going to get the ball a roll right now. Alright, so stay tuned. Alright now people, so see the fish there. Yeah. Um, I have that fish I me to catch for a while now. I did have it in my fridge. See the snapper there. And um, the mud jack I did catch the other day. As well as this... Um, catfish right yeah so, so yeah man and as well as the sea drummer so yeah man we are gonna get them a season up and thing 
and um, get them frying and all like that alright so as I can see them clip up already and thing as well as me put some slices in them so I go drop some seasoning on them you know and get them frying alright yeah Alright, so I'm alone. So I'm going to do me just a season them up and then I'm sure you are going, alright? Yeah, because I'm going to hold the camera and I try to season them up at the same time. Alright, so I'm going to know them well season up and thing. Frying time, alright? In time, I have my coconut milk here, so peas boil already, so I have the coconut milk go and boil down a little, alright? I'm going to season up the rice pot here, get the rice in the, in the pot same speed. Also, you know, in the rice pot, you know, pepper in there already, garlic, scallion, and thyme, alright? Yeah, man. Pepper, garlic, scallion, and thyme. Ready to get the fish them frying right now. Pepper and garlic are burning at the oil. You don't know that bring out a nice flavor. Alright, so now we're turning it on out. No more. Oh, that is good. to the rice in the pot and thing get it so up try some peas in the sun there with some broth to fish at the bottom Alright, so I'm going to take out them one now, to see the next two. Yeah. Now so I turn them one here. After them one here fry up now we don't know where to go. Get the vegetables them in the pot and thing make it go and cook down, alright? The rice and the wheel are ready to as well. Rice there. And the wheel. 
Let's see the ingredients and I know why we're going at the pot. Um, tomato, Irish potato, scallion and thyme, carrot, and another piece of pepper. I have right. so the pepper is really hot, so I'm going to use a lot of it. And I have the kids with me today, so I'm yeah, make the pot really spicy, alright? Alright now, so people, so I'm going to get them in at the pot right now. And them go and cook a little bit, pre-cook a little bit, and then we put the fish them in again, alright? Yeah, man. Start with the first. Get some water from this right now. Add in water. Alright, so. This one cook a little bit. Add some brown into the pot. the fish them and thing and it a go down and maybe add some ketchup alright see the rice has simmered down you know take time to steam out you know so anytime it dry down properly I eat that for the rice and you don't know yeah see what I go on for them alright you know yeah alright so I'm going to add some tomato ketchup to it right now yeah man then after that, never add any fish, alright? Yeah, so you add to your liking. You don't want to put too much because you don't want the food to be sweety, sweety, you know. That's good enough. Then, you know, just stir them around. Now that brown in there for that nice little color when it done cook and thing. Yeah, it's looking good so far. So, let this go and um, cook for the next minute or so. And then I'm going to add the fish them, alright? No peeps, so. I'm going to get the fish them in the pot, you know. Yeah. Here we go. First one. I want them in first. Mm -hmm. Nice already. Alright, so we have left this now for go on cook down for like one three to five minutes and then it have a ready as it me. Yeah man. Land, you know. Yeah man the rice land. So see the people. Alright now people see so what I go on here and it go down to the wire. So ready and thin. I'm just going to use a spoon one more time and layer some more of the sauce over the fish that up on top, alright? Yeah, man. Alright, now peeps, I eat that, you know. I'm going to lock up the fire from underneath it, you know, and then share out. I'm going to see what I go on, alright? Yeah. You know, rice ready, you know. I'm going to share out, you know. Put it on the plate. I'm going to see how it looks, alright? Alright now peeps, I see the finished product here you know. Rice and peas with brown stew fish, you don't know. Yeah, 
and a little garnish away a silver here so in a Jamaica we call that French time alright yeah man so I eat this people the finished product alright always remember to like share and subscribe to the channel hit the post notification bell so as soon as we drop a video then you will be notified alright yeah man so we do it on the channel alright Yard style, fishing, catch and cook style. Yeah. Alright guys, so welcome to the end of another great video. Hope you enjoy that catch and cook right there. Stay tuned for the next epic adventure from Yard Style Fishing, alright? Please remember to like, share, subscribe to the channel, hit the post notification bell, alright? Yeah man, peace out on this one.